Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on quadratics. Question number one with me, Mr. Barton. So we're going to go through all your major quadratic skills, factorizing, solving, completing the square, and so on throughout this series of videos. Okay, first bit, factorize each of the following expressions. So first thing you've got to know is factorize means put into brackets. And then it's a case of knowing whether it's a single bracket or a double bracket. Now there's no hard and fast rule for this. My best piece of advice I could give you here is always kind of assume it's a single bracket first. So always look to see if you can take something common, a common factor out of each term. If you can, do it. If you can't, it's probably a double bracket. That's about as, that, that's kind of the, the advice that's got me through uh, factorizing over the years. So let's look at this. I'll just write it a bit clearer just in case you can't see it. That's 6x cubed minus 12x squared. Can I take a common factor out of that? Well, yeah, I can, because I've got a 6 and I've got a 12, so I can take a factor of 6 outside. I've got an x cubed and I've got an x squared. So what's the biggest uh, factor of x's that I can take out of that? That's probably an x squared. So get that, then crack your bracket open, and then just figure out what needs to be inside, so that when you multiply it, you end up with 6x cubed minus 12x squared. So I've got a 6x squared on the outside, but I need a 6x cubed, so I think an x is going to sort that problem out there. Stick me minus in, and then I've got 6x squared, but I need 12x squared. Well, I think a 2 is going to give me all I need for that one. Perfect. All right, what about this? Quadratic, I like these. So we've got x squared minus x minus 42. Now, it's up to you. You may have been taught a slightly different way of doing these, but this is how I set them out when they've just got a single x squared. I say we've got two numbers, and those two numbers I've got to multiply together to give minus 42. And when you add those two numbers, you've got to get the number of x's, which in this case, minus x is minus 1x. So I need two numbers that when I times them, I get minus 42. Well, that tells me one's got to be positive and one's got to be negative. And when I add them together, I'm going to get negative 1. Can you see what that is? I reckon minus 7 and positive 6 are going to fit the bill for that one. So I end up with x minus 7, and I get x plus 6. Okay, and then this is a flipping stupid question. 15x squared, 31x's and 14. Now, when you've got um, more than 1x squared, you can't use this method. It doesn't quite work um, anymore. And there are lots of different methods around on the internet for doing this. And feel free to kind of Google them and, and find your own that works there. I'll just talk you through how I do it. I still know that my two numbers, when I times them together, have to make 14. I still know that. That rule still holds true for this final number. Sorry, I'll just write this out again just in case you can't see it. 31x plus 14. So I still know my two numbers I've got to times together to make 14. Um, I also know that's positive 14, so that's going to tell me it's either a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. But I've got positive 31x's, so I know that whatever's in my bracket, they're both going to be pluses. And then, to be honest with you, I just experiment with numbers. If you've got a times together to make 14, there's not too many things that can be. It's either going to be 1 and 14, and, or 2 and 7. And I'm going to be, yeah, so it's, it's going to be one of those two things. I've got to get 15x squared. Well, that's either going to be 1 and 15, or it's going to be 3 and 5x's at the start. So I just kind of mentally play around in my mind until I find one that I think works. So I might try 3x and 5x. That's going to give me my 15x squared that I need. And I've just got to make sure I get up to this 31x's. Well, I'm going to work on the assumption that it's going to be something to do with 7 and 2. So if I do 5 lots of 7, so say the 7 went there, I'd get 35x's. Well, that's too big. So say I put the 2 in there and the 7 there, does that work? And then I just check it. 3 lots of 5x, 3x, sorry, 3x times 5x, 15x squared, that's good news. 3x times 7, that's 21x's. 2 times 5x, that's 10x. And 2 times 7, that's 14. My 21x plus my 10x is going to give me 31x's, so I must have got that right. As I say, there's loads of different ways and loads of better ways of doing that, but that's just how I do them. 